No matter what kind of Q&A session I do, webinar, in-person talk, the question I always get is, I have a cyano problem, I have a green hair algae problem, how do I solve it? I'm here with Dr. Tim Hovenek from Dopatim Aquatics. Doc, you're telling me the idea of going low nutrients is totally wrong. Totally wrong. If, if your nitrate and phosphate is zero or low, I promise you, you probably got dinos or cyano. And the reason is, your tank is out of balance. You need to get bacteria back in the water to consume the nutrients to fight the cyano and dino. But those bacteria in the water column, the good guys like what we have in Waste Away, need help. They need nutrients in the water. Why? Cyanobacteria fix nitrogen from the air. So wow. when you have zero nitrate in the water, the good bacteria can't grow. They need it too. So you've pushed the system to favor cyanos because cyanos fix, nit fix nitrogen from the atmosphere, which dissolves into the water. So even though you don't have nutrients in your tank, you s it's because it's getting out-competed by the cyano. Right. What you don't have is what I could call like free nutrients. You've got organics in the gravel, in your substrate, in your coral. Okay. That favors uh, cyano. Or what about dinoflagellates? Well, they're photosynthetic. So they're, they're gonna. Happy. So they're 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 even happier because you've eliminated anything that can grow and compete against them. You've got lots of nice bright light. Probably got that blue channel up at 70, 80, and the dinoflagellates are out there going. Thank you very much. We've taken over, and you can't do anything about it. So what do we do about it? Well, first off, if you're having a big dino problem, turn that blue channel down below 50, 48. I've I've, I've talked to a lot of people, just below 50 with the blue. Okay. The blue is the light that penetrates the deepest. Your tank, well maybe some you do, because you do these huge <laughs> tanks that you can go swimming in, but most people's tanks aren't more than 24 inches deep. Right. You don't need to be running that blue channel at these higher percentages, so do that. Secondly, put your protein skimmer on a timer because the protein skimmer, the unintended consequence is you are removing bacteria from the water column. Okay. As soon as they grow, you're removing them. Turn the skimmer off for a couple hours at night. Night. At night, because why? Because you're going to get two benefits. Corals feed at night. Mm -hmm. Corals love copepods. Well, we love ice cream and french fries. It's not our only food. Right. What do corals do? Corals filter 24-7. What's in the natural reef water? Lots of bacteria. If you're into reptiles, you know about gut-loading crickets. You uh -huh. don't feed an empty cricket, you feed a cricket that you've gut-loaded. Right. The same thing with bacteria. You gut-load it by letting the bacteria consume the nutrients. The corals filter feed the bacteria out of the water. That's how they get nutrients. I've spoken to several people today and they go, you know, my corals look like junk. Why? because you have no bacteria in the water column. They're okay. starved for nutrients and food. And then third, yes, we're gonna do a little pitch for Dr. Tim's Waste Away, but that's- it works. The, it, it works. It's based on science of getting the right bacteria. Our Waste Away bacteria are isolated from aquariums. They're not sewage treatment, they're not golf course, they're not uh, restaurant grease trap bacteria. They're aquarium bacteria. It's the only thing we do is aquariums. You get the bacteria back into the water column okay. to compete for the nutrients and recycle those nutrients into the corals and outcompete the cyano and the dino. But to do that, you got to have nitrate around five okay. and phosphate about 0.05 right in there. You got to have it. Chasing zero and zero is. Work. I'm sure you've seen it too. You're pushing that system to cyanos and dinos, and you can buy this stuff and everything else all day long until you change it and just get a little phosphate, a little nitrate, yeah. you're not gonna have success. Now can I get that by feeding my fish more? Feeding your fish more and, and turning your skimmer off. Don't run your skimmer so much. Okay. Yes, you can do it that you way. That. You don't have to add chemicals. Just don't over skim. That's the unintended consequence. I'm not saying get rid of the skimmer. Sure. I'm saying use the skimmer smarter. So the waste away, you put that in, then you feed it with your gel, gel. Yep. and let it do its and thing. And let it do its thing. And be patient. It, you're not going to fix the cyano and dino problem in a day or two. It's going to take a couple of weeks. 
It got there slowly, you're gonna, you can fix it, but it's gonna take some time. Just be patient and stick to the plan. And you can do it naturally with no medication. No medication, no chemicals, just let nature do its okay. thing. Your what? tank will be easier, you'll be less stressed, and your corals will be more colorful. Sign me up. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Always Doc. great to see you, Mark. <laughs> you too.